Now, does the team really panic and say, sports psychologist, uh, let's go, let's figure it out, because you got great stuff, you're a major mm -hmm. league pitcher, you're a pitcher of the month, you're going to become you know, a 10-year stud for them, that's the way they're thinking. Tony La Russa is your manager. How did the team react immediately after that, that postseason? Uh, you know, really just try to, to comfort me and say stay strong. My hope was that coming into the offseason, I'd have a couple months away from the game, and I'd come back to 2001, I'd be fine. I remember my... Agent Scott Boris kept trying to get me to call Harvey Dorfman, which was his sports psychologist. Yep. Uh, and I was like, you call him. I don't need it, right? I felt like I'm going to be fine. I was young, hard-headed. In your 20s, right? Yeah. Um, and then when I got close to 2001, I started to play catch again. I realized, you know, this is in me deeper and darker than it was before. And now, uh, you know, I'm lost. And I called and said, hey, let's, you know, let, I'm calling Harvey Dorfman Yeah, here. but sorry, you call it. Harvey Dorfman, but does it work? It obviously, does it work from a pitching standpoint. Mm -hmm. Right, it's a process, right? We, we just He just tried to teach me ways to cope and deal with it. And, I mean, right off the bat, it was like, listen, I need you to understand, like, some people overcome this, some don't. So, well, what was, huh. the, what was the diagnosis or what was identified as the problem? Well, the thing is, well, we still don't know why it happened. You only see what happens afterwards. So, before that, before that pitch, I didn't have any anxiety. Now, the thought of playing catch gave me anxiety. And now these emotions are uncontrollable. And I remember there was times in 2001 where... I'm looking down at my hand. I can't feel the ball, even though it's there. Really? And I'm out there on the mound. I know exactly what I want to do. But my body and brain won't allow me to do it. It's just bizarre. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is. It's bizarre. Like, it doesn't make any sense at all. No. And that's what I wonder. As a young guy who's always, I'm sure, like Boomer as well, the one thing you always had was total control of your body. Yeah. You could make a ball do what you wanted it to do better than 99% of the population. You nailed it. And that's and the way you... And all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you can't do that. So did you go through... Uh, a state of depression and all that, all that, or no? I would say I was se severely depressed. You I mean, I never was clinically diagnosed, but you know, the, the the this thing that you can't figure out that you've always been able to do your entire life, and, and being a young player, mm -hmm. I related baseball to oh, this is what makes me great. Instead of feeling like I'm me, and baseball is what I do. I got so, you. So now it, it being taken away from me, I was just completely lost. So you decide though, because you're you're so young, and obviously you're a great athlete. Mm -hmm. Well, I I want to play baseball. Whose idea was it, though, to get you back into the game? I know you did it for a couple years before you came back up. Who's Who had the bright idea? Rick's a great athlete. Let's put him in the outfield and see if we can develop him. Was that Tony's or That was uh, Scott Boris. It was your agent? Yes. And they and the Cardinals bought into that hook, line, and sinker because they had invested in you? So at the time, and I didn't find this out till years later, at the time, I, they, I guess they had talked about it. A few months before, or whatever it was, hey, if Rick ever decides that he comes to the point that he doesn't want to pitch anymore, let's give him a shot to be an outfielder. They didn't relay that to me. Got it. So I walked in in 2005 because what it, I came back and pitched in 2004, respectively. But what it took was just – it wasn't worth it. I realized another five years or eight years of this, of this what is, is what it's going to take for me to throw strikes. It's not healthy, and it's not a life I want to live. So I got to the point where, hey, I, I, I can't do this anymore. Um, I go home. I'm not home an hour, and Scott Boris calls me and says, hey, are you ready to go play? I go play what? Are you not? I just I just retired. I'm done. You know, right. like what are you talking about? He's like, no, go give a shot at being an outfielder. I'm like, I got to think about this. Man, I'll tell you what, that's pretty amazing that your agent would come up with that idea, and no coaches or not even yourself come up with that idea. Um, you know, the hardest decision to me was to give up that dream of being a big leaguer. So uh, I don't know if I would have ever gotten to it. I mm -hmm. definitely wasn't going to get to it that day because everything sure. it took for me to walk in there into the manager's office and say, I'm done. I'm done with my dream, with a huge decision in my life. You know? So you you buy, at some point, Boris tells you become an outfielder. I assume that takes a few weeks. You're bored. You, you want to go on the field. You have this competitive desire. One you day. Say, your family's sick and tired of you being around. <laughs> and you go out there. And was it fish to water or was it... Boy, this is a lot tougher than I, th I remember it being when I was younger. Um, no, it was a little bit of both. But the thing about it was that four years that I dealt with the pitching stuff, that <clears throat> mental grind, and I've called it a mental prison that I felt like I was stuck in. Well, it was gone. And now this, I felt like this giant weight was taken off my shoulder. So the ability to drive to the field, excited about going there with the challenge of becoming an outfielder because nobody had done it up to that point. I mean, you got to go back to Babe Ruth mm -hmm. and back then. Um was exciting to me, and I felt like, you know what, now I can come, I'm happy, I can joke around with the guys, be a part of the team, and be all these things that I couldn't do when I was when I was working on this pitch and stuff. So now it became exciting again to be at the ballpark. So no more anxiety.